Welcome to video 203 in series 3 and now I'm going to write the vehicle camera follow script. Ok, I'll make a new C sharp script and call this vehicle camera underscore follow and open that up. I'll start by putting in the variables private vehicle camera master vehicle cam master private transform target transform uh, then down below I'll just put in the method called void assign target pass in transform targ so that's its parameters and uh, target transform is equal to targ so very simple and I need to subscribe to that event on the master script but before I do that I'm going to put in another method and uh, that is called void stay with target if target transform is null then return just get out of this method otherwise now we're going to follow uh, the target transform so transform dot position that's referring obviously to this camera uh, is equal to vector three dot lerp transform dot position comma target transform dot position comma time dot delta time times five Ooh, I hard coded that. Well, so that's basically the uh, camera movement speed. Now you could uh, you could put it, do it properly, and actually have a value typed in somewhere so that you can actually set that. But uh, yeah, I must have just hard coded it. Re really liked it and forgot about it completely. Anyway, now I'm not going to need the start method, so I'll get rid of that. I'm also not going to need the fix uh, the update method. I need the fixed update method. So there we go, fixed update. So void fixed update, of course it's a unity method, must be typed exactly like that. Stay with target, call the method. Now why do I use fixed update? If you use update, it's not uh, in sync with the physics side of things, so you'll get jerky, uh, you, your vehicle, well I'm trying to remember now, it's either your vehicle will look really jerky or just everything will look really jerky as the camera tries to follow the car. So if you put it in fixed update, it'll look just absolutely smooth and everything is just fine. So the uh, motion of the camera matches perfectly with the motion of the vehicle. Now in set initial references, I'm just going to say vehicle cam master is equal to get component vehicle camera master. Now inside of on enable, I'll call set initial references and then vehicle cam master dot event assign camera target plus equal assign target and I must have the corresponding unsubscribe so vehicle cam master dot event assign camera target minus equal assign target now save that that is the script this is the follow script so really really simple we've got another script to write that's a little bit more involved I'll just double check no obvious errors no, which is very nice, very good. Alright, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.